Hey guys, what's going on? Master Lal here. So today we're gonna be working on day two of resistance bands, right? So we were talking about resistance bands. These are resistance tubes. And I already gave you guys one more cow, show you guys how to do all upper body stuff. And today we're gonna be working on the lower body. The lower body is not that bad, because all we pretty much have is lunges, squats, and deadlifts. That's it, all right? So that's exactly what we're gonna be working on today. So hopefully you have your resistance tube or your resistance band ready. Either one is gonna work just as fine, all right? So let's warm up and stretch first. I'm gonna put this over here on the side for now. Let's loosen up a little bit, just so we can just uh, get our bodies ready for what's coming next, all right? Just do a few of these going forward. Now let's go backwards. Nice, just like that. Perfect. Now let's switch hands, other side, different arm. Ready, going forward. Excellent. Nice job, here we go, now we're gonna go back. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna give you guys a three day part of this kind of training. In and out now, so day one was gonna be all upper body, day two is gonna be all lower body, and day three is gonna be all our cardio and core, all right? So it's gonna be a three day workout that you guys can repeat as many times as you want, and I want you guys to repeat it like that. So on day one, when I give you guys the workout all for upper body, you should be doing that as an example. You can break it down however you want. You can do that, let's say, Mondays and Thursdays. And then the second workout, which is gonna be the lower body, you can do it on Tuesdays, I'm sorry, did I get confused here? Yes, Tuesdays and Fridays. So that already took care of Monday and Tuesday, Thursday and Friday, leaving you with the one day in the middle. And that day in the middle, which is Wednesday in this case, you guys can do actually your upper body, I'm sorry, your cardio and your core exercises. So again, day one, it's the upper body, let's use that for Monday. Day two is lower body, let's use that for Tuesday. Day three, it's your cardio and your core. Day four, which is Thursday, you do the same thing you did on Monday, and day five, which is Friday, you did exactly what you did on number two. So that way you wind up hitting those same body parts two times during one week. You can take the weekend off, or if you wanna repeat what you did on Wednesday, on either Saturday or Sunday, you can do that as well. It's completely, completely up to you guys. It depends on how aggressive you wanna be, and how much, how fast, and how soon you wanna see results. All right, loosen up, side to side. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Perfect, now I want you to open those legs. So we're gonna stretch those legs good today because remember, this is exactly what we're gonna be working on today. All lower body, ready? So open those legs, hands on the floor, hold it, and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. Last ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and fifty. Put one leg on the floor, put the other leg in front of you and lean forward. See, bring those hips forward, right? Hold it for about 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. Bend the back leg, and then I want you to sit on it, and then stretch your front leg. Hold it, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and ten. I want you guys to switch your legs, please. So same thing. Front leg is bent. Lean your hips forward. That's it. Stretch it. Hold it for twenty and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten. Bend the back leg. I want you to sit on it. Hold it. Switch that front leg. And go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good, perfect. Open up. Good. Loosen up a little bit. Excellent. Now, next one, I want you to do is I want you to open your legs. I want to say shoulder and a half width apart. I want you to squat. Nice and easy. Good. Excellent. I want you to hold that for about twenty seconds. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Come on up. Excellent job. Perfect. Remember, the reason why we emphasize it today a lot more in our lower body, more so the upper body, is because today's workout is going to be a lower, uh, lower body workout, right? All right, excellent. I want you to open your legs shoulder width apart. That's it. Point it forward at me. 
Then slowly come on down, touch your toes, or touch the floor, hold it there. We're gonna hold it for about 30 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and thirty. Bend your knees. Come on up. Nice. Relax. Shake those legs a little bit. Perfect. I want you to go to your left. All right. So here we go. Go to your left. Make sure that little leg is flat on the ground. Here we go. So don't lift it. I want you to keep it flat on the ground, but don't point it at me like this. See how my toes are pointed at you? I want you to point those, those toes 45 degrees forward. Ready? Hold it there for about 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. Hold it. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, guys. We have one more. Down. Now, I want you guys to put your feet together, okay? Slowly go down. If you need to bend your knees slightly, do that. Otherwise, if you can keep your legs perfectly straight, do that as well. Ready? So feel the stretch. Remember, we're gonna be doing some deadlifts today, which is good for our hamstrings, lower back, core, all right? So hold it right there, nice and easy. And again, my legs are semi-bent, just a little bent to my knees, but if you can do it with your legs straight, do that, whatever you're more comfortable with. Ready to go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and thirty. Bend your knees, come on up, stand up, relax, shake those legs, and we are ready to rock and roll. All right, guys, so I'm gonna pull a resistance band. And a two, you do not have to have both. Either one will be fine. I'm just gonna show you the variation between the two of them, which is very similar. All right, so we are gonna be doing four rounds of 30 seconds, and we're gonna be working on squats. Now, squats are good. Let me just make sure squats is my first exercise. Yes, squats are my, is my first exercise. Squats are good for your, uh, for, your for your quads, your glutes, and your core. When you work your lower body, your core is engaged the entire time. As a matter of fact, your core is engaged always. Even when you punch in, and if you punch in correctly, and if you're hitting the back hard enough, and you're applying every muscle, every power, and everything, your core is actually very much activated, even when you're punching. All right, guys, so I want you to understand that core is always, always, always activated, especially when you do legs, because for legs, we usually have the tendency to go slightly heavier, right? All right, guys, so today I'm only gonna use the same thing as we did the other day. As a matter of fact, actually, today I got a 50 pound uh, resistance tube, all right? So I want you to grab your tube, I want you to grab your resistance band, whatever you have and get ready, okay? So again, four rounds of 30 seconds. We're gonna do 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, and we're gonna be doing squats, all right? So on the squats, it's very simple. Depending on your level of strength, you can either go like this, normal, right? And then I want you to bring those hands up like this, or you can actually keep it crossed like this, and then I want you to squat, come up, squat, come up, and the main thing about this, you wanna make sure that your butt doesn't go in like this. You see that? No bueno. All right, you wanna make sure that your butt goes out, like you're gonna sit down. And that's exactly what we're gonna be doing for 30 seconds. All right, so let me press the timer. All right, excellent. Cool. All right, get ready, all right? Looks like a test. text. All right, I'll kill that in a second. I wanna get moving with you guys. Ready? Okay, here's the bell. Ready, set, begin. So here we go. I'm gonna be doing that for 30 seconds. Don't rush. Good, excellent, perfect. If you wanna make it a little harder, all you gotta do is either get a stronger tool. I have right now about 50 pounds. If you have a 10 or 50 or 20 pounds, you can switch it for something slightly heavier, or you can just open your legs wider. We got about two seconds and time, good, all right, excellent. So we did one, we're gonna take a 30 second break. Remember, we're gonna be doing this exercise four times. Let me just kill my phone when I have all my text messages coming in. All right, perfect, all set. All right, get ready. We got about 12 seconds and we're gonna start round number two. Remember, four rounds. So today we're gonna be doing four rounds of squats 
And again, if you do this workout twice this week, that means you end up doing it eight times. Ready? Okay, that's how cute. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. Nice and easy. Perfect, you guys. Excellent. When you get to the top, tighten up your glutes, all right? Squeeze your bum. Good, 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 good. Glutes in, nice and tight. Nice, pelvis forward. Good, you got about 10 seconds. Actually, a little less. Here we go. Keep it up. One more. And time, perfect, good. Drop it, relax, excellent. So, I'm actually feeling it. The 50 pound resistance tube is actually pretty intense, especially if you're doing it right. And then the way I'm lifting it here, I'm making sure that gravity is, it's, it's kind of winning actually. Gravity is working me hard because by keeping the up here, it's forcing me to go down. And by me going up, it's making my muscles work a little harder. Get ready. Three, two, one. All right, set it up again. Begin. We're working on round number three. Good, notice, we're not counting, it doesn't matter, we're not rushing, nice and tight, make sure that coat is tight, you got 10 seconds, keep it going, five seconds, three, two, and one, relax, breathe. All right, so, so far we've done three rounds, we're taking a 30 second break in between, we got one more round to go. And if you have water next to you, make sure you're drinking water, please. Very, very important. All right, we got about 10 seconds, and we're gonna do the final round of squats before we move into a different exercise. All right, here we go, ready? Set it up, three, two, one, up here, let's go. Nice, nice and easy. Keep working those legs, keep working those squats. Amazing, guys. Keep it going. Good, again. Good, got about 10 seconds. Nice job. Nice job, keep it going. Five seconds. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We can do one more. And time, amazing, guys. All right, take a break. I'm gonna give you guys a one minute break and we're gonna start with the next exercise. So, the second exercise we have, I have for you guys is we are gonna be doing deadlifts. On the deadlifts, what I wanna do is, I'm actually gonna take the handles of my resistance uh, tube. And the reason why I'm doing that is because the handle makes it slightly uh, longer, and when it's a little longer, it makes it harder for this next exercise that we're gonna do, and I'll explain to you guys why. So right now, just ignore the timer, remember, if you also have a resistance band, you can be working with your resistance bands as well. And I apologize for not showing you before, but it's pretty much the same setup. All right, you set it up like this, right? You hold it and then you do your squats, right? So it's pretty simple. On the next one, on the deadlifts, what I want you to do is I want you to put your feet inside. You're gonna go, I would say shoulder, shoulder and a half width apart, okay? And then what I want you to do is you're gonna reach really low on the resistance band, and then you're gonna be doing this. You're gonna keep your legs semi-bent, all right? So from here to here, the main thing, squats will drop in your butt. On the deadlifts, I don't want you to drop your butt that much. I want you to concentrate more on form. And then you, it's okay to bend your knees a little bit, but not too much. So from here, my job is to do the following. From here to here, up, then down like this, up. See what I'm doing? Just a little bit, because the areas that I'm gonna be targeting is gonna be, obviously you're gonna feel it in your lower back, okay? So strengthening your lower back. You're also gonna feel it right on your core. You're gonna feel it right in your hamstrings, because that's exactly the area we're targeting, and your glutes, all right? So just remember, this exercise is an amazing exercise as well, and it's good for us. All right, guys, get ready. I'm gonna set up the timer again, and I'm gonna set up for another four rounds of 30 seconds each. Again, you can either use the two, or you can use the resistance band. I'm actually gonna use the resistance band on this one. All right, it really doesn't matter. Okay, set it up. Open those legs. All right, that's our bell. Ready, set, begin. Up, nice and easy. Again, up, good. Remember, you're not bending your knees too much. You're making sure your body goes all the way back. All right, here we go. 
Nice and easy. Keep it going. Nice. Just like that. Good again. Good. And if it's too easy, remember, you can grab a little lower. So now you're really going to be stretching that resistance band for the resistance two. Three, two, one, and time. I'm going to let it go. I'm going to now switch it to the two, all right? Because in reality, it's not much of a difference. You'll be able to do this exercise with either one, all right? So on the two, I don't have the handles, therefore, the, the length of the tube itself became shorter. When I have the handles, the handles makes it go up to here on each end, all right? So get ready. I'm just gonna hold it like this. All right, get ready. Three, two, one, let's go. Remember, you're not bending your knees too much and you're just sticking your butt out. And when you get to the top, lock it up the way I'm locking it up. Good. If you want to make it slightly harder for those hamstrings and your glutes and your core and your lower band, all you got to do is just grab the two or the resistance band a little lower. Nice. Good. Good, 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 good. And don't worry about your belly right now if it's popping because guess what? You are actually pushing so hard right now that it's no way that you can keep like a flat belly. It's almost like your belly protrudes, right? It comes out, it pops out, but that's because ah, you're pushing so hard, trying to make sure that you are lifting, that you're going up, and that you know, obviously your, your, your hand grip has to be strong as well, all right? So a lot of things are going on right now. Every muscle pretty much from here down is being activated. All right, five seconds, get ready. Round number uh, three now. Okay, here we go, ready? Set, and go. Just like that. Remember the key is not to bend your knees. Good, just like that. Excellent. Breathe out when you come up. Tighten up your glutes. Perfect. Send your pelvis forward. Nice, excellent job. Get about 10 seconds. Make sure your core is tight. Good, 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 good. Just like that, keep it going. You're doing amazing. Here we go, here we go, and time. All right, so far so good, guys. So, between the resistance band and the resistance two, I actually like the two better when it came to this one exercise. The resistance band, for some reason, I couldn't just get it, I couldn't get it right. The tube is easier. I just open my legs, I grab low, and I just start doing my thing, and I'm good to go. The resistance band, I, I kept, I kept moving. I kept trying to figure out where it was gonna be a good resistance for me. So it's because, not because it's not, nothing wrong with the resistance band. Get ready? And it's because maybe I didn't set it up properly from the beginning. See this one? I just grab and I just keep moving. Good, here we go. Nice. Keep that chin up, nice. And then up. Make it nice and tight. Good, 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 good. Just like that, keep it going. Perfect, you guys, you're doing amazing. Here we go. So it's gonna be a quick workout, because remember, you're gonna repeat this workout again in a couple of days, all right? One more, and time, perfect. All right, that was round number four. Now, we have one last exercise for today, and for the last exercise, we are gonna be doing lunges. So we're not gonna do regular lunges, because it's tough to do regular lunges using the resistance band or the resistance tube, but what we're gonna be doing instead and it's gonna hit the muscle nicely, is we're gonna be doing pulse lunges. So we're gonna hold up the, the lunge position, and we're just gonna be going up and down. We're not gonna go all the way down, we're not gonna come all the way up, we're gonna stay kind of in the middle, pretty neutral, going up and down, up and down, up and down, and we're gonna be doing four rounds. So we'll do the right leg first, then we'll switch to the left, we do the right leg again, and then we'll switch to the left again, and by the time we do that, we are completely done. So as you can see, this is not gonna be a crazy workout, in a sense of like it's gonna take a whole 30 minutes. It might, may not. Right now we are at about a 19, 20 minute mark. Uh, but if you wanna work out a little longer and make it a little bit harder for you, you can change two things. Either you can make this round instead of uh, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. What you can do is you can do 45 seconds on, 45 seconds off. So if you, if you work a little harder, you can rest a little longer. If you wanna make it even more intense, then you can make it 45 seconds on and only rest for 30 seconds. And if you wanna make it Again, different, a little longer. Then you can just repeat this whole workout again one more time, the whole entire thing one more time, therefore doubling whatever time we end up with. So if we end up with a 25 minute mark, you can repeat everything one more time, four times of each, and you end up at a 50 minute mark. And if you wanna go a little, a little more, but not quite 50 minutes altogether, then instead of doing four exercises all over again for every muscle that we did today, then you end up doing two. So you end up doing two squats, right? Two rounds of the squats, 
two rounds of the uh, deadlifts, and then two rounds of the uh, uh, lunges. You see, so there's a lot of ways to play with a workout. Nothing has, nothing is set in stone. If you just change things around, still within what, what we're trying to accomplish today, you are actually in good shape. All right, so on the pulse lunges, what I'm gonna do is, you're gonna ignore the timer. We got about 30 seconds for me to show you this and we can get moving. So you're only gonna work with one leg. So I'm gonna, my hands are pointing in. See this, pointing in. I'm not like this, so I'm not holding like this, I'm holding like this. So my thumb is up pretty much, right? Then I'm gonna step on it. I'm gonna go into my lunge, right? I'm gonna be here right now, okay? Depending on how hard I wanna make it, I either grab it lower or I go a little, a little higher, right? Then from here, just a matter of going into the lunges like this. All right, ready? Okay, here's our belt, set, begin. Here we go, up, down, again, up, down. So I, I don't wanna see you playing with your hands. We're not doing biceps, okay? We're just keeping our hands exactly where they are. Notice how my hands are not moving. I'm just gonna do this. So as a matter of fact, I'm actually dropping all the way down to the floor. And I'm coming pretty high because I'm actually putting more tension on that one leg in the front. You got about three seconds. You got two seconds, one second, and time. Not bad at all, right? All right, excellent. So now what we're gonna do is we got our 30 second break. We're gonna switch sides and we're gonna work on the opposite side. So now here's the thing with the resistance tools, resistance bands is, you add an extra weight, extra resistance, therefore, you're stimulating your muscles even more than if you were doing regular lunges, squats, and deadlifts without any equipment. So by doing it with something like this, you are actually honestly working probably twice as hard. All right, get it ready. Set it up on the opposite side. Ready? That's our cue. Here we go, ready, set, go. So up, down, get up, down, get up, down, nice job, again, up, down, Again, up, down, not bad. Up, I'm burning, I don't know about you guys, but I'm actually burning, we still got about 10 seconds. Yep, here we go, not bad. Good, good, good. Three, two, one, and time. Oh, yeah, baby. It's crazy because we're not doing too many reps. We're only doing 30 seconds. But my legs, my quads, are definitely already on fire, guys. There you go, see that? All right, that's exactly what we're looking for. All right, I don't have the biggest legs in the world, but for a guy my size, I'm not the tallest guy in the world, my legs are pretty decent. And it's because of little workouts like this that do make all the difference in the world. All right, guys, get ready. Five seconds, chop, chop. Switch your legs again. Here we go, ready? That's our cue again, ready, set, begin. Nice, excellent, good, nice and easy. Amazing guys, you're doing uh, amazing. Keep it going. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but I am definitely burning. Definitely burning, good. Keep it going. Good, 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 again, again, again. Nice job, three, two, one. Oh boy. <laughs> Holy shit. It burns more than I thought. All right, so remember, it's not a crazy long workout. You're not doing crazy lots of reps on anything. It's only a 30 second deal. And as you get stronger, you can again, increase the rounds, increase the length of the rounds, or double up everything, right? All right, guys, we got one more, one more round. This is it, we're done. We can do our cool down stretch after this, and we can wrap it up, all right? So, get ready, we're gonna go on the other side, and the round starts now. Here we go, ready, set, begin. Up, down, again, up, down, come on, keep working those legs. Again, up, down, both legs are burning. It's not just my front leg. Both legs are burning, guys. Keep going, you got about 10 seconds. Not bad at all. Keep it up, again, good. Nice, and time. Holy cow, legs are on fire. All right, if you have a chance, I don't know in which social media platform you're watching this video. And if you're watching it on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, I don't know which platform you're using, but if you have a chance to leave us a comment, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about this workout today. Let me know if it kicked your ass. I'm a little bit out of breath. And you notice, again, we didn't do anything crazy, but it goes to show that sometimes when you do resistance training, it could be just as good. And sometimes, believe it or not, better than if we're just doing cardio. All right, guys? All right, awesome. All right, 
I'm gonna get a little bit more water. I'm gonna stop the timer, because we don't need the timer anymore. All right, water time. So, you gotta make sure you always hydrate. Always, always, always hydrating. Very important that you guys are always hydrating, okay? All right, so, let me move the stuff to the side. Remember, a good rule of thumb is to make sure all your equipment is on the side. Don't have all this stuff around you, because that's how accidents happen, all right guys? All right, so I want you guys to go right here. We're gonna rotate side to side. We're gonna do that for a few seconds. Loosen up your lower back. Good, nice and easy. Let's do a few more. Excellent. Breathe in out. Keep it going. One more time. And time, excellent. Now I want you guys to open your legs as wide as you can. Slowly go down. See if you can put your hands flat on the ground. So if this is hard, what I'm doing right now, being really close, then move your hands forward, and then make sure you're nice and flat. All right, guys, so start with that. Otherwise, start to be neutral. Not too far away from you, not all the way underneath between both of your legs, kind of like neutral, right in the middle. Hold it, and we're gonna hold it for another 20 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job, excellent guys. Perfect, now once you go on your, uh, on your backs, once you grab your, your knees, and then from here, just relax a little bit. It doesn't matter if you go like this, or if you cross your legs, it really doesn't matter. Good, now, I want you to bring your chin towards your knees, ready? And stretch, stretch the lower back, and relax. Good, we're gonna do that one more time. Stretch again, and relax. We're gonna do it one more time. We're gonna bring your knees towards your chin, your chin towards your knees. Ready, set, go. Nice and tight, and relax. Everybody stand up. Last one, I want you guys to open your legs, shoulder and a half width apart, okay? And then see if you can do the same thing again. See if you can actually go all the way down and put your hands flat on the ground. So from here to here, and if this is hard, then walk it forward up to you like this, all right? Otherwise, come back and I want you to be right in the middle. Okay, hold it for 30 seconds and we're done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Always bend your knees. Come on up, and the reason why you bend your knees is because you want to stand up using your legs and not your back. And that's the reason why we do it that way. All right, guys, once again, leave me a, com leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about today's class. Let me know if you liked it, if you want to see classes like this more often. And uh, nothing, just leave me a comment. Please, 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 say something. All right, guys, that is it for me today. Have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you guys soon. Until next time, see ya.